Morning, Max. Well, it's still morning. It's uh, quarter till 11, Thursday, May 20th. Uh, finished up spraying for Kirk this morning. Got the... Dad's finished spreading fertilizer at his house and here. Got the planter pulled up by the garage. I'm gonna grease it and uh, check all the air in the tires. But I come out here to get the manual. I don't know what them little tires are supposed to have in them. So anyway, that's what the plan for today is. Hopefully, we got, well, there's a, a nurse wagon out there from Lucky Farmers for all the starter fertilizer for dads and here. And there's a shuttle with the starter fertilizer for Woodville from the Andersons. So, like I said, I got the planter up here and uh, we're gonna do a little reading and we're gonna, we are going to, my boom nipple dialing my phone. Trying to set alarm. Yeah, crops are back up a little bit this morning. They were down yesterday a lot. So anyway, I'm going to read the manual here. I should know it, but I don't and fill tires and grease it and get the water line or the pump all plumbed back up for the fertilizer and get all that flushed out. Get all the RV antifreeze flushed out of it. Okay, all right. Got the pump all back together, flushed out. Don't have it hooked up yet. Um, water tanks flushed out, cleaned. Got the water, got the antifreeze flushed out of here, so the lines just have water in them now. Once we get fertilizer in there, I'll prime it. Go from there, all the tires are checked and aired up. Tractor and planter. She's greased, except for the markers, because you got to fold them down. So we're going to put some corn in and start planting. All, that's all the same? Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's all 10L16. As far as I can tell. Seed size, F2. Seventeen hundred ninety-two seeds per pound. <laughs> All right, Dad's putting a little graphite in there. That's a makes the seed flow better. And the meters that we replaced or had redone. Down underneath that we changed out here a while back, it lubricates all them. So, we're ready to go. Except for the paperwork. No job is done until the paperwork is finished. Right? Right, Dad? Yep, yep. We're working on that. Could that come up to a thousand? Or twenty nine thousand. So, uh, I remembered we replanted some corn last year, so we dialed it back. 
so I'm going to get the book and figure out what sprockets we need to put back on it, get her back up to 33.5. 33,500 seeds. That's what we try and plant. Uh, putting a test plot in that field, so we unlocked all the units so they're not working. So Dad is going to take and go down the headlands one pass on that field and one pass on this end of that field just to mark it. And then uh, when we plant the, seed, the test plot seed, we'll stop there and the end of the field will be open. <clears throat> Got to leave a little bit of room for the combine to turn around and stuff. And you don't put headlands on so they can put signs up. All right, I got to figure this out. Okay, got the book out. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, 33,674. I need a 24 on the drive and a 19 on the driven. So when dad gets back up here, we'll set that up and then pump fertilizer in it, get that primed, and he can start planting. The wagon been sit for a couple days, so we took the nozzle, put it in the lid on the top, and just circulated stuff, just to mix it up good. And... Uh, to throttle this one back a little bit because the line it's a straight shot through so if you throttle that one back it'll push it into here for this thing that's adjusting the angle of the disc to make her a little more aggressive going back there in that wheat stubble like a brand new wagon nice wagon portion axles big rubber new pump might have to keep that all right we'll see you in the field You're over too far. Let's see if we can find one here. Probably better engage the hubs. Wait a minute. Let me go back. Let me back. We unlocked all them hubs for doing that uh, fake headlands. <laughs> Never locked them back in. He'd have figured it out. The monitor would have started screaming real quick. That furrow is this field. All right, I'm gonna turn them hubs. Well, I'll show you how we do it. It's real simple. I'm going to. You said wait, so. Basically, you spin this knob and it releases that spring, pushes that clutch in, and grabs a hold of them little fingers in there. We don't have no electronic or air clutches or anything. So if you get down to the end of the field, you, okay. So we gotta get out and manually shut them off. Work 
very much of a crunch there, but it's going to be hard right here until you get up there. Probably not very deep right here, but once you get up in that sand, they'll start going in. Go ahead a little bit. Yep. Seeds on top of the ground. So we gotta depth deepen her up. Pick it up. All right, try that. They're only down in about an inch right now. This part of this this field will be planted north and south and that part will be planted east and west I should have zoomed this thing in that's the one problem you can't zoom in while you're filming I don't think you can no I don't know I'm still a rookie at this GoPro stuff I'm afraid up on this sand they're going to China. I'll do a little digging and see what I can find. But they're going down to the moisture, so I guess that's the good thing. He wins in the game of chicken. Let's pick this one. Come here, Colonel.
Wow. There it is. They're down there in the moisture. All right. All right, so what he's gonna do with this is, he is gonna plant the golden harvest variety. He's gonna make four passes up and down the field here. So that will serve as his headlands for doing this field this way. So he'll come out and right here, well, here's, here's the first row. So when he hits this, then he'll pick up, swing around and go back. But actually he's gonna start on that end of the field and work east. But that's why we're doing this here. So. So yeah, so I'm gonna go get six more bags of seed around, different variety. That's why we're gonna plant half of this field and half of this field with this golden harvest. We've got enough to do half and then uh, put a different variety in. And uh, I'd have liked to have played around a little more, put three bags in, plant them out, put three of a different one. Then I could have four different varieties back here on this sand. But that takes a lot of time and uh, dad wants to roll. So we're just gonna go and see what we can get done. But I'm gonna get six more bags and then I'm going to go to bed. I might drink a couple beers, but then I'm going to bed. But it's 1.30 and I only got about four hours of sleep yesterday. Okay, I got uh, seed for the next round. I'm splitting it. I am uh, <coughs> I'm going to go three, two different varieties. Three rows of one variety, three rows of another. But I am going to run over to Dad's because what we're planting is 110 day right now. And I've got some Eberts. This Eberts is 109. I have some 109 day channel, but I only got two bags and I need three. This is 104 day, so I really don't want to put that in there. So I'm going to run over to Dad's. And we got uh, LG seed over there. And I know we got some later season over there, so I'm going to go find some 109, 110 day. Bring three bags of that back. All right. We're going to take the Rhino. See you over there. Okay, well, I just grabbed the camera and I was coming back in here. I'm over to the building across the road from Dad's his garage. And his, his Bobcat and a couple of his attachments and my attachments and everything. And the phone rang. It was the guy from SI Distributing called me back and I got. Uh, spiked closing wheels coming for the planter with us going more no-till it's just got the rubber wheels so i got uh, six spiked closing wheels to put on there to help close the furrow up better when we get into some of this different ground that we got because we got some pretty hard ground and no-tilling it's gonna it just helps crumble the sidewall back in better so you got better seed to soil contact so anyway i found some lg corn here that we dropped off at Dad's. Oh. 
This is 109 day. So I'm gonna grab three of these. I've already got one out there. And uh, this one and one more. And pair that up with that 109 day channel corn. And do half a, do three rows of each. And then when we go to harvest it, we can just do the six rows of each. Do the three end. You know what I mean. Instead of taking the original six planted, we can split it and and uh, do it that way to see what kind of yields we got. All right, one more, and then uh, well, what are these way? Sixty pounds? I don't know. Fifty-eight. I'll have to look on the ticket. They're not light. Pretty good size seed. Pretty decent size seed. I think it says on the end. Forty-four pounds. Forty-four pounds per bag. So I was a little light. I'm getting weak in my old age. <laughs> okay, I got what I needed here. Lock the door and head back home. All right, take these two. Put them back in the barn. away put the rhino back in here close the doors up it's getting hot in here it's nice and cool in here this morning uh, drink me a beer or two and go to bed we'll see you guys tomorrow good night everybody good day good morning whatever it is i'm going to bed